Hey, what's up guys? So my birthday was last week and I wanted to make a quick video showing you some of the highlights of what I got. This is my first haul type video, so you're gonna see an unboxing from Giuseppe Zanotti, Versace, Givenchy, Prada, Fendi, and Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna try not to make it too long, so let's jump in and get started. I have two things from Fendi, so let's get started with the big one first. Inside we have a Fendi envelope. Inside that we have the Fendi information card. We also have another envelope that has the authenticity cards. This product does have real fur in it, so it tells you the kind of fur and the source origin. Here is our Fendi dust bag. Open that up to reveal the black fox fur monster bag charm. This is real black dyed fox fur. It is a leather body. It's pretty squishy. It feels like it's got cotton inside. It is a textured black leather face with yellow leather eyes. It's on maybe a two or three inch long calf leather strap. There is silver hardware. Here it reads Fendi. It has a key clasp. It has a bar with a blue protective film on it that also reads Fendi. On the back, if you can see, it says made in Italy. It has the tag attached. It says Fendi Roma. On the inside, it's got the authenticity tag with the foil sticker. There are tons of reviews of these things. They come in all different shapes, colors, and styles. They are great for decorating a handbag, a piece of luggage. I'm probably gonna throw mine on a backpack. You can also just use it as a really big, obnoxious keychain. And I believe these retail for either 600 or 650, depending on where you get it from. So we're gonna put that back and move on to our second Fendi box. This one has a magnetic closure. You just pop it up. Inside we have a suede feeling cloth that reads Fendi Roma. We open both sides. Here is our tag. It is pretty much the same as the one from the Monster Bag Charm. There is our foil authenticity sticker. And this is the Leather Wraparound Reversible Monster Bracelet. It is a long piece of leather, as you can see there. It has two push button clasps. You wrap it around your wrist twice and snap it here with the buttons. It has the monster eyes on two metal sliders that you can move any way you want. It's a simple silver charm that has a black and yellow inlay in it. Here is the white and black. And also on the side it reads Fendi Roma. There are two sizes, so it is adjustable. Here is the outside box for the bracelet. It comes from Essence.com and it retails for $450. All right, now that we've got our Fendi out of the way, let's move on to Louis Vuitton. This is the first piece I've got with the new packaging, the orange bag with the blue cotton handles. Inside is the tiny drawer box with Louis Vuitton in black. Open that up. Here's our duster. And inside is our World Tour bag charm and keychain. They have a lot of pieces in this limited edition collection. They have bags, uh, key balls, luggage, suitcases. There's only three bag charms. This is one of them. It reads Louis Vuitton on top, Miami on the bottom, where I'm from. It's got a pinky red leather background. On the bottom, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Italy. It's all black leather on the front, all glazed in black on the side. It has all gold hardware, including the signature Louis Vuitton clasp. And then it has the key ring. The item code for this is M63200, and the date code looks like it says CX0196, so this piece was made in the ninth week of 2016. It measures three inches across, and it's $290 in the US. So putting that away, let's move on to this from Versace. It's a simple Versace scarf. The Medusa head in black and gold on one side. On the other side, it's basically just flipped like this. It's sort of like a goldish tan color, so it's pretty neutral, which I really like. Checking out the tag, it simply says Versace here. Gianni Versace, I believe it's made in Italy. Here is the hang tag. I've actually never owned a scarf because I've lived in Florida all my life, but I saw this on their website a couple months ago. I really wanted it, so I'm glad I got it. It feels really warm. It's a cashmere blend. It's super long, and I believe it retailed for around 300. Okay, moving on to our final three pieces. First, let's start with this one from Barney's. It is a Prada medium zip nylon pouch and camouflage. It's about nine inches long and five inches high. It has the Prada tag on the front with the leather backing. Here's our Barney's tag. Taking the paper off the zipper, it says Prada Milano there. If we go inside, take out the tissue, Prada Milano tag on the back. Here is our Prada envelope. It comes with the authenticity card. It has a made in Italy tag on the seam. I believe it was 350 and I think it also comes in other colors, but it actually matches something that we have in this box, which I'll show you at the very end. My next gift came from LuisaViaRoma.com, which is one of my favorite websites. They are an Italian-based company that sells all kinds of luxury goods. 
It came in the white tissue paper with a bow of their ribbon on it. And inside is the Givenchy Army Skull Cap. This line's been part of Givenchy's collection for a while now. I'm really a huge fan of the Givenchy font up there. I think that looks kind of futuristic and cool. I like the skull with the army military theme. I like the colors on it. It is fully adjustable in the back. The inside tag reads Givenchy Paris. I'm not sure if it's a large or if it's a one size fits all because it is a snapback. Here's the little Givenchy tag that comes with most of their things. Inside you can open it. I think it's got like an authenticity card, some care information. Here is the product information card. I believe this piece retailed for $3.99 when it first came out. And that takes care of that. All right, now this last gift was probably my favorite. It matches back to the Prada pouch we just saw a minute ago. It's from Giuseppe Zanotti, which is my favorite shoe designer. Inside the box is the signature dust bag. Here is the tissue. And inside we have the Giuseppe Zanotti camouflage double zipper high top. I am obsessed with these shoes. They are a Neiman Marcus exclusive. I typically wear an Italian 46, which is a 13 in the US. But whenever I wear these double zippers, because they have these extra sheets of leather that sort of close inside, it ends up making the shoe snugger. So I have to go for a 47, which is a US 14. The laces on these shoes are just for looks. So you do have to make sure you get your size. You can't tighten or loosen them at all. They have the signature saw tooth on the sole. On the bottom, there's Giuseppe's signature as well as the 47 made in Italy. On the inside again is the signature in silver metallic. They're super easy to get in and out of. All you have to do is unzip the inside zipper, zip them up and you're all set. If you're gonna go for a style of Giuseppe's that have the double zipper, I would recommend maybe going a size or a half size down. But I do like that they're comfortable, they're neutral, and they also match back to the Prada camouflage. Here is the size, here is the item information, the item number. They do retail for $6.95, and as I said, they are a Neiman's exclusive. So that does it for this video, guys. I hope you had fun. I can't wait till Christmas. I will be doing an unboxing haul video for that as well. Make sure you click here to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Mitchell Wiggs. And until my next video, I'll see you next time.